Hi everybody! Some of you already tried to duplicate the presentation we built in our marketing video, and I know it can be difficult to reproduce when you are not used to the tool yet. I'm going to show you how easy it is to build this presentation and how to proceed to insert all those visuals in your little slides. Let's start! First of all, you are going to create a new presentation by clicking here. Insert the title of the presentation and add some text to find your presentation back in the right folder and insert the right dimensions. I keep here the standard dimensions. Click on create and a new window will pop up and open the edition mode of representation. By the way, if you are not used yet to the edition mode, don't hesitate to watch our tutorial explaining this edition interface. First slide, you just need to add a text block. Do it by hitting the letter T on your keyboard and type in the following text. I can easily resize this text block like this. Afterwards, I just change the type font and I put it at the right place. Then I add a second slide by hitting the plus button in the header and I put a blue background. I add again a text block, change its color and write down the adequate text. You can easily change the font of this text by choosing in my font library where I have access to the Google Fonts, Feature Fonts and I can also upload my own fonts. Now I add a rectangle and put it in a white color thanks to the eyedropper. Access the eyedropper by hitting the letter I on the keyboard. I put the exact rotation I want, 45 degrees in this case. I place it and easily enlarge it if needed with the keyboard shortcut ALT. And I duplicate other rectangles to build some decoration around my slide with command D or you can also use the universal keyboard shortcuts for copy pasting elements. I place them on the right location. I add now a GIF from my Dropbox and I add a blend mode, here the screen effect, which enables my elements to be integrated in my background. I duplicate this object, place it in the upper left corner and I add a rotation of 180 degrees. Finally, I add two additional GIFs that I put in the middle of my slide. I also add the same blend mode effect and I resize it the way I want to. And when I play my presentation, the GIFs will play as well. I go back to my edition mode and I add a third slide. I change its color background and I add a text block. I change the color so that you can see it appearing and I write down the adequate text and resize it. And finally, I use another font in my font library. Afterwards, I go to YouTube and search for the video. I type the right keywords and I just copy the link of the video and paste it in my Ludus presentation thanks to the keyboard shortcut. I resize it, put it backward and change its parameters. In my case, I'd like to autoplay this video mute it and start it after 9 seconds. Afterwards, I add a colored rectangle, enlarge it
put it backward and I add a blend mode effect, which is multiply, I reduce its opacity to 33%. Then I just change the color of my text. Again, when I hit the play button, you will discover that my video is auto-playing automatically. When I go back to the edition mode, I add a fourth slide with blue background. Add a text block with another text here called creative and then remove it. I go to my Dropbox folder and copy the link of one of my images and paste it in my slide. I place it in the middle and add a screen effect. I add the additional pictures by drag and drop and I add a screen effect to two of them and place all of them on the right place. I add colored rectangles, resize it, and I only keep one element in the front of my slide. I add a screen effect and reduce the opacity of this rectangle to 47%. I add a color overlay on the selected element and use the eyedropper to get the perfect color. Afterwards, when I update any image coming from my Dropbox, it's automatically updated in my Ludus presentation. I just need to refresh the view mode page. I'll show you here the demo. Now the last slide. Add a fifth slide with a blue background and a text block interactive. Then I go to the Sketchfab website and copy the link of the 3D animation. I just paste the link in my side and I have directly my 3D animation. You can anytime change the parameters of your 3D animation in the right menu. Add auto play, auto spin, background transparency to get the following results. I'm now going to show you the last simple slide. I add there a text block, use one of our icons integration located in our smart menu, and the add dropper. That was it, if you have any question or need any help, don't hesitate to ping me in the app, hope you enjoyed the results.